cheese? No. Okay. So we're gonna start right through here. And now I'm using a syringe of Juvederm, and again, the Juvederm is to activate the PRP. It's not just to activate the PRP, right? It's also gonna have some filling effect. It is gonna have some filling effect because what she's getting is going to take uh, 30 to 60 days to see maximum benefit. And so um, it will give her some immediate results as well. Now, this is where you participate in your own care. Perfect, close your eyes. And then these are just little dots. They're right above the orbital ridge? Go all the way down to the bone and do tiny little dots. And notice I'm just doing tiny, tiny little dots. Open, open your mouth. Only had one patient bite me. <laughs> open. And when I tell her to open, I'm just smoothing this to where she doesn't have any lumps or bumps. And then we'll just hold pressure on that for another minute there. So we're gonna put the rest of these exosomes in her PRP. And what we're gonna do is we're going to fix this acne scarring right through here for her. And touch up this and this. You're just getting a whole <laughs> face makeover. Yes, yes I, so I put the exosomes right into the uh, PRP. So we have seven cc's here of uh, six cc's of PRP and one cc, well about uh, seven tenths of a cc of exosomes actually. Yes, that was left, because we bathed the threads in part of the exosomes. So now, we're going to go right back over where we put that PRP for one thing. And are you going up against the bone again? All the way down, yes. And then do you just inject as you, as you withdraw them? I do, mm-hmm. And I'm putting just about a, not even a half, not even a half of a cc in these spots. And there's usually some stinging due to the um, PRP itself. You want to hold pressure right there. Mm -hmm. Let's do that other side real quick. I am so jealous. You're getting all this fun stuff. <laughs> You're going to love it. So we're going over those nasolabial folds to get all of those filled in for her. Okay, let's go right back over here now. Close your eyes. All the way down to the bone. It's three shots under the eye, right? Yes. Come on, bruising. Good. Good. Okay. Is she bleeding over there? No, it's really good. Gotcha. Okay. Yeah. So you keep that pressure on. And let's get that uh, acne scarring with this PRP. Let's take care of all this right through here for you. Now, with this, I'm just going very superficial and I'm just blebbing it and spreading it out around these little acne scarring. So you want to stay pretty superficial with it in the subdermal. You all right? It, burns. it does burn and sting, but let me tell you something. It's going to be less than 10 minutes, and that's going to be the best burn and sting you had for your whole life. All right, push your, push your hand right over here. 
Do you ever mix um, bicarb with it? I do, and I normally do mix bicarb. Mm -hmm. Okay, now let's let go of that one. This side's not as bad with the acne as the other side. So how much bicarb would you put in that syringe, say? CC, one, one CC. One. Okay. So to cut down on the sting, you can put one CC of uh, bicarb. And the sting lasts less than 10 minutes. Really, it's more like five minutes. Go ahead, I call it scarring. Yeah, she's got more acne scarring in this area. Yes, I did. That's right. So it's a little bit more tender, and she will have a little bit of swelling. But by in the morning, mm -hmm. this most of this will be gone. She may have a, a bruise because here or there, I don't see any, but there's always a possibility of a bruise with any stick. Um, but other than that, she can go to work tomorrow. Most of the, the swelling and everything will be down.